Welcome to our channel, Circuits Analytica. In this video, we will discuss how to convert a decimal number to an octal number. To convert a decimal number to an octal number, divide the given number by 8. Find the quotient and reminder. Check if quotient is equal to 0 or not. If quotient is equal to 0, it means that conversion process is complete. Reminder of last division operation is the MSB of the octal number. And reminder of the first division is the LSB of the octal number. If quotient is not equal to 0, divide the quotient by 8 and repeat steps 2 and 3. First problem, let us find the octal equivalent of decimal number 10. First step, divide the given number by 8. So when we divide 10 by 8, we will get 1 as the quotient and 2 as the reminder. As quotient of the operation is not equal to 0, we have to continue this process for a second time. During second iteration, when we divide 1 by 8, we will get quotient is equal to 0 and reminder is equal to 1. As quotient is equal to 0, the conversion process is complete. The octal equivalent of decimal number 10 is equal to 1, 2. So, reminder of the first division operation forms the LSB and reminder of the last division operation forms the MSB. Second problem. Find the octal equivalent of number 81. To find the octal equivalent of decimal number 81, divide 81 by 8. We will get 10 as the quotient and 1 as the reminder. As quotient of the operation is not equal to 0, we have to do this division operation for a second time. So when we divide 10 by 8, we will get 1 as the quotient and 2 as the reminder. As quotient of the operation is not equal to 0, we have to continue with this division operation for a third time. So during third iteration, when we divide 1 by 8, we will get 0 as the quotient and 1 as the reminder. So reminder of first division operation forms the LSB and reminder of the last division operation forms the MSB. So the octal equivalent of decimal number 81 is 121. Third problem. Find the octal equivalent of 1024. So during first iteration, divide 1024 by 8, we will get 128 as the quotient and 0 as the reminder. As quotient of the division operation is not equal to 0, we have to continue the division operation for a second time. During second iteration, we will get 16 as the quotient and 0 as the reminder. As quotient of the division operation is not equal to 0, we have to continue with this division operation for a third time. During third iteration, quotient of the division operation is equal to 2, Reminder is equal to 0. As quotient of the division operation is not equal to 0, we have to continue 
the division process for a fourth time. During fourth iteration, quotient of the operation is equal to 0 and reminder is equal to 2. As quotient of the division operation is equal to 0, the conversion process is complete. Reminder of the first division operation forms the LSB and reminder of the last division operation that is 2 is the MSB. So octal equivalent of decimal number 1024 is 2000. Now how to find the octal equivalent of fractional numbers? For a fractional number AB.CD, to find the octal equivalent, separate the number as integer part and fractional part. Find the octal equivalent of the integer part and fractional part separately. Add the octal equivalent of integer part and fractional part to get the octal equivalent of the fractional number AB.CD. Now how to find the octal equivalent of the fractional part? To find octal equivalent of a fractional part, multiply the fraction by 8. Integer part of the product forms the fractional bits of the octal number. If fraction part of the product is 0, then decimal to octal conversion of, of the fractional part is complete. If fractional part of the product is not equal to 0, multiply the fractional part of the product by 8 and repeat steps 2 to 3 till fractional part of the product is equal to 0. Now let us find the octal equivalent of decimal number 9.5. To find the octal equivalent of 9.5, Find the octal equivalent of 9 and 0 0.5 separately. Then add the octal equivalent of 9 and 0 0.5 to get the octal equivalent of 9.5. So first of all, let us find the octal equivalent of decimal number 9. During first iteration, divide 9 by 8. We will get 1 as the quotient and 1 as the reminder. As quotient of the operation is not equal to 0, we have to continue with this division process for a second time. During second iteration, when we divide 1 by 8, we will get quotient as 0 and reminder as 1. So the octal equivalent of decimal number 9 is 1, 1. Now let us find the octal equivalent of decimal number 0 0.5. To find the octal equivalent of the fractional part 0 0.5, we have to multiply this fraction by 8. So when we multiply 0 0.5 by 8, we will get the product 4. Integer part of this product is 4 and as the fractional part is equal to 0, that means that the conversion process is complete. So 4 is the MSB of the fractional part. 4 is the leftmost bit of the fractional part. So octal equivalent of decimal number 0 0.5 is 0.4. So octal equivalent of 9.5 to the base 10 is octal equivalent of 9 plus octal equivalent of 0.5 that is equal to 11 plus 0.4. So octal equivalent of decimal number 9.5 is 11.4. Fifth problem, find the octal equivalent of 
to the base 10. To find the octal equivalent of 15.0078125, find the octal equivalent of 15 and 0 0.0078125 separately. Then add the octal equivalent of 15 and octal equivalent of 0 0.0078125 to get the octal equivalent of the given number 15.0078125. So as the first part, let us find the octal equivalent of decimal number 15. During first iteration, we have to divide 15 by 8. We will get 1 as the quotient and 7 as the reminder. So this Reminder is the LSB of the octal number. As quotient of the operation is not equal to 0, we have to continue with the division operation for a second time. During second iteration, the quotient of the operation is equal to 0 and reminder of the operation is equal to 1. As quotient of the division operation is equal to 0, it means that the conversion process is complete. So octal equivalent of decimal number 15 is 17. Now let us find the octal equivalent of the fractional part 0 0.0078125. To find the octal equivalent of the fractional part, we have to multiply the fraction by 8. So after first multiplication, we will get the product as 0 0.0625. So integer part of the product forms the octal bits of the fractional number. So 0 is the MSB of the fractional part. Now we have to multiply the fractional part by 8 for a second time. So multiplying the fractional part 0 0.0625 by 8, we will get 0 0.5 as the product. Integer part of the product is 0, which forms the octal bit of the fractional number. And fractional part of the product is 0 0.5. So, we have to continue the multiplication process for a third time. During third iteration, when we multiply the fractional part of the previous product by 8, we will get 4 as the product. Integer part of the product is 4, which forms the octal bit of the fractional part. And as fractional part of the product is equal to 0, it means that the conversion process is complete. So, the octal equivalent of the fractional part 0.0078125 is 0.004. So octal equivalent of the given number 15.0078125 is sum of octal equivalent of 15 and octal equivalent of 0.0078125. So octal equivalent of 15 is equal to 17 and octal equivalent of 0 0.0078125 is 0 0.004. Therefore, octal equivalent of 15.0078125 is 17.004. Thanks for watching. Circuits Analytica. Enjoy learning. Please comment, like, share and subscribe our channel.